Welcome back to the shop. On this episode, we continue building our Case 446 loader, and since the bucket is complete, we can start on the loader lift arms. The arms are constructed from 3 inch by 2 inch by quarter inch tubing. The rear tube is 29 inches long, and the front tube is 37. This angle is welded at 60 degrees, which will help to keep the bucket nice and close to the front end of the tractor. I need to keep the weight closer to the center line of the tractor so I can lift about four or 500 pounds. And if you're wondering why I removed these welds, I will later plate and reinforce this angle. You'll see that in the next part of this video series. So that reminds me, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all my latest build videos. Back over at the tractor, I'll weld on this 3.5 by 9 inch square tube. It's held in place by a 1 inch square tubing clamped to the bottom of the frame rail. I'll tack each corner and then follow back with a full weld. The entire weight of the loader will be held here at the center of the tractor, and it will also be the place where my feet rest. My plan is to control the direction of travel with a right side foot control. I need to be able to pivot my work boots to control the tractor and still have enough room for the uprights for the front end loader. These tubes being 9 inches, it's just the right size. The uprights are constructed from 3.5 by 3.5 square tubing. The tubing length is 24.5 inches long. Currently cutting out the bottom section of the tubing. We will weld them to the 9 inch pieces we welded onto the tractor frame earlier. This section is cut out to allow space for the loader arms. You're looking at the topmost portion of the uprights. The weight of the loader will pivot in this section, so we need to reinforce it with 5 inch by three and a half inch by quarter inch plate. One inch holes will be located here. This inch and a half hole will be for the bucket pivot. Once the hole is cut and deburred, I can test fit this one inch pipe. And off camera, I clearance the tube a little bit so it doesn't contact the bucket.
Well there you go, the front end loader arms are on. We still need to finish weld and reinforce the front end section. And you're going to get to see that in the next part of this build, so be sure to subscribe. Well, I'm hungry, so it's lunchtime for me. Thanks for watching.